Hi, welcome to the Inclusive Storytelling Podcast. I'm your host, Ashwini Prasad. And if you are interested in bringing more belonging and inclusion to the entertainment industry, feel free to connect with me and let's talk. I am at theinclusivescreenwriter.com and you can find me on Twitter and Instagram at The Inclusive Screenwriter. All right, everyone. I'm super excited for season three. Season three is going to have a different format. I'm not going to be doing as many of long interviews with folks. I'm going to highlight different people, situations in shorts. And so I'm super excited to introduce James Hong to you, first of all. Now, you all might already know him because he has been in everything, everywhere, all at once. He played the dad. And what's remarkable about James Hong is that he was born in 1929. He's worked with Clark Gable in his own words. And he started his career way back in the 50s, where he actually redubbed soundtracks of several Asian films. So you have definitely seen him um, in so many different things over the decades. And he also has a Hollywood Walk of Fame star. Uh, Daniel Day Kim actually put a GoFundMe together in 2020 so that James Hong would have a star. Now at 93, he is definitely making waves and still continues to be. I think he is absolutely fantastic and definitely somebody to highlight. He has over 600 television and film roles to his credit. James Hong, everyone. Next up is Ming Na Wen. Now, I absolutely adore Ming Na. Now, you might know her recently from playing Melinda May or the Cavalry in Marvel's Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. and Fennec Shand in the Star Wars universe. Everything from the Mandalorian Bad Batch to the Book of Boba Fett. Now, Ming Na also voiced Mulan when it was released in 1998 and its sequel. Now, I just absolutely adore the talent that Mingna brings. I mean, everything from martial arts to her acting is just so absolutely wonderful. And she's finally, uh, I think, a little bit receiving her flowers, but I know that she deserves much more to make up for lost time. And incidentally, she's also worked with James Hong. They both worked on Mulan and Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. together. Another favorite of mine and part of the Star Wars universe is Giancarlo Esposito. He is a highly respected actor in the entertainment industry, and he is known for his range and versatility on screen. I mean, this man has been in Breaking Bad, Better Call Saul, and of course in The Mandalorian. He has a career that has spanned over four decades, and he has over 180 acting credits. I have always enjoyed his performances, and I definitely want to see him in much more and be recognized uh, in ways that he would like to be, whatever that is. Maybe it's more awards, more recognition, more higher exposure roles, but I would definitely love to see that for Giancarlo Esposito. In my head, I know that he's not been in everything, but it definitely feels like he's been in everything. So definitely while I was putting this together, I definitely see a bias in terms of my love for Star Wars and space operas and and items in the supernatural world. Because next up is Rick Worthy. So I remember seeing Rick Worthy in Supernatural, the show. I absolutely have loved him since. He is such a great actor and I know he deserves to be another household name. I've loved him in Battlestar Galactica, Supernatural, The Magicians. And you've also seen him in Star Trek Enterprise and the Vampire Diaries. He's another one with a long list of credits. And with all the work that he's done, we definitely need to be giving him much more flowers. And of course, Angela Bassett. So I'm going to say this right now. Angela deserves an Oscar. Okay, she has had such an amazing career. It has spanned decades She has over 107 acting credits, 10 credits as a producer, and three as a director. I love her Instagram. She always asks how we're doing. Are we good? I mean, what an amazing auntie. I have followed her since her days when she was Tina Turner. And again, she deserves an Oscar. 
Now, we saw in this past award season, she was slowly getting her flowers, but I know that she deserves a lot more, especially when you look at everything that she's done. And just like James Hong and Giancarlo Esposito, the range and the versatility and all of the different roles that she's played, especially uh, as the Queen of Wakanda, absolutely amazing. Thanks so much for listening. Be sure to like, subscribe, download, and leave a review. And be sure to connect with me at the Inclusive Screenwriter.